Hallelujah. Good morning, my brother and my sister. It's good afternoon. Good evening. Everywhere you are watching me from right now. I don't know the time you are watching me presently. But one thing I want to say to you today is that you are not a failure. Listen to me. Who is a failure? A failure is somebody who failed and refused to rise up to his feet again. Is somebody who falls and refused to get up again. The Bible speaking in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. The righteous man falleth seven times and rise up again. This righteous man falls seven times. So you are not a failure. It doesn't matter what you are passing through right now. Take a step and get up. Take a step and get up. Take a step and get up. You are not a failure at all. You have tried in one business or the other, and you think because you have tried, you have invested, you are no longer going into that business again. No, 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 no. Please take that step of faith. And I'm glad to let you know that you shall succeed in that business. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I have an example of somebody in the Bible. His name was Isaac. Isaac was... You know, everything about him seems as if he will never succeed. And if you read Isaac chapter 26, the Bible tells us clearly, if you read from verses 1 upward, he wanted to leave, you know, uh, 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 the particular place. And God told him where to go to Egypt. God said, don't go. Praise God. Stay where you are. He says, I will bless you. Praise the Lord. And this man, you know, dug well. When he dug the first well, People came to him and they took it from him. He didn't stop there. He recognized and he believed strongly that he was not a failure. Listen to me. Say after me, I am not a failure. Say the second time. Say, I am not a failure. Say the third time. Say, I am not a failure. Yes, you are not a failure. The Bible is speaking in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 17. The Bible says, as a man thinking in his heart, so he is. Please don't think failure. Stop thinking failure. You are a successful man. You are a successful woman. God is not a failure. He created you and he created me in his image. The Bible says that come, let's create him and be in our image and in our likeness. So God has created you as a successful man as a successful woman. Therefore, every power that does not want you to, to succeed, I destroyed them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for somebody listening to me, watching me, wherever you are watching me from this morning. Hear the word of God. As the Lord liveth, people will rejoice with me shortly. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So Isaac dug the first well. They stole it away from him. He dug the second well. They stole it away from him. He dug the third well. Listen to me. You are not a failure until you stop trying. Continue to try. Continue to take a step of faith. Continue to, to, to rise. And you will surely make it in life. Remember, I mean, remember, winners never quit. And quitters never win. Don't be a failure. Don't choose to fail. Rather, choose to win in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you today as you are taking this step to choose to win. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that you shall be a winner in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be a winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. Nobody gets to the top without a story to tell. There is no glory without a story. So what you are passing through as a challenge right now is a story to tell tomorrow because your future is bright. Your future is colorful. You have a glorious destiny. You have an enviable destiny. You have a chosen, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Listen to me, you will make it. You know why I'm so sure you will make it? Jesus made it. You will also make it. Bishop Oedepo made it. You will also make it. Baba Adeboye, make it. You will also make it. Poe Nache, make it. You will also make it. Great men in the Bible, Abraham made it. He was a businessman, yet he made it and he was a servant of God. 
Therefore, I decree you too, you will make it in the mighty name of Jesus. I join my faith with your faith. I don't care how it seems as if you have lost. I don't care what people are saying concerning you. I don't care people that are mocking you right now. Listen to me. Let people mock you. Because if they don't mock you, God will not make you. What will make God to make you is when people mock you. Everyone that have known that people mocked them, God really make them. God will also make you. God will make your family. God will make your business. That business will not die. Everybody owing you wherever they are right now, I decree they will not know peace until they pay your money. In the mighty name of Jesus, everywhere you have walked, and it seems as if they are owing your payment, I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. Whosoever that is owing your payment, God will minister to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says in Esther chapter 6, that the king could not sleep on that day. In the night, the king could not sleep. Hear me? Everyone holding what belongs to you, they will not be able to sleep. God will take away their sleep until they remember you for good. In the mighty name of Jesus, that investment you have done, I decree your money will come out. In the mighty name of Jesus, not only that your money will come out, it will come out with plenty gain. In the mighty name of Jesus, and all your mockers will be forced to celebrate and rejoice with you. Listen to me, God is a God of again and again. Has God ever done any miracle in your life before? Then he's a God of again and again. He will do it again for you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will do it again for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. All what you need to do is to put your faith to work and keep confessing it. I am not a failure. I am a lender to nations. I am not poor. I'm a lender to nation. I can never die but live to declare the works of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus, it doesn't matter who is failing in business around me. I shall not fail. My wife shall not fail. Say it after me. My children shall not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as you have said it this morning or this afternoon or this evening, depending on how, when you are watching me, I decree you shall not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say you shall not fail. Isaac did not fail. You will not fail. Abraham did not fail. You will not fail. Joshua did not fail. You will not fail. I now decree. Strength for your hands here. In the name of Jesus, I put my leg in the shoe of God's servant, my father, Bishop Edipo. And I decree this morning that everything you touch, beginning from today henceforth, you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, everything you touch, beginning from today henceforth, you shall prosper. Say it louder, amen. Everything you touch, I said it all time, beginning from this moment henceforth, you shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, every of your hand in blessings, wherever they are right now, I decree I decree they are hereby released to you. In the name of Jesus, this week it will be your week of testimonies. This week will be your week of miracles. This week will be your week of signs and wonders. Anyone that says you will not get married, hear the word of God. I decree the fire of the Lord will consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that says you will be a beggar, I decree in the name of Jesus their lineage will be beggar. Their families will be beggar. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree concerning you and your family today, all your enemy, they shall be forced to rejoice with you. In the name of Jesus, and the whole world will see your glory and glorify the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed. This week is declared blessed for you. Today is declared blessed for you. This month is declared blessed for you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere you are believing God for help, I decree heaven from above will locate you. Heaven from above will locate you. Heaven from above will locate you. In the name of Jesus, I put my leg in the shore of my father, Bishop Edepo, and I decree this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that everywhere you are believing God for divine favor, you are believing God for divine progress. You are believing God for divine sources. I decree you shall receive it. In the name of Jesus, 
Every good door shut against you. Hear the word of God. I decree. He says, lift up your head, O ye gates, ye everlasting door. Oh, be ye lifted up. Therefore, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, everywhere you are believing God for miracle open doors, I decree they are hereby open unto you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Revelation chapter 5, the Bible is speaking in verse 7 and 8. To him that has the key of David, to him that when he shot, no man can open. To him that when he open, to him that when he open, no man can shut. Therefore, I decree every good door open concerning you today. No devil will shut them anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, no devil will shut them anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, no devil will shut them anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, every doors, good doors, open concerning you and your family today. I decree it shall not be shut again. In the mighty name of Jesus, and so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed. Everything you do beginning from today, you shall return with testimonies. You're going out, you're coming in, is declared blessed. That your money hanging, it will come out. And it will come out with gain. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Please subscribe to this channel and God will surely bless you. More prophetic word will be coming on your way. And together, we shall rejoice together while you're sharing your testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Hallelujah! God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah!